I kicked the tripod. Hey guys, my name is Samsonite, and welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Third episode of the day for me. Uh, loving it, currently. Oh, I can just whoosh it. And then whoosh it. Oh, and yeah, this room is spectacular. Also, plan for this one. Get good mist, unlimited money. And I'm going to try and keep the episodes a little bit shorter. I wanted to avoid going over 20... Three minutes, because 23 minutes is sort of like where I like to try and keep it, and it, the last one went to like 26, so, uh, or no, two before this went to 26, because I just, uh, my dumbass landlord is currently upstairs making noise, but I decided I can just talk over him, it's not really, can't forget that, this thing comes down, but, uh, if you do it like that, is that different than Richter's? Frank burger, hot roast, turkey, and sirloin. And this. Don't forget that! Resist stone, resist dark, resist holy platinum mail. That should be really good. Yes. That is a solid addition to what's going on here. But, in this one, this episode will give us... Something is happening to my cell phone. It's fine. Um, oh, I've never <laughs> quite seen the card like that. Now, if I walk any further than this, I go into that little bit right there, and that, um, that, uh, ooh, that, that thing's good and strong, but at the same time costs, like, 50 hearts to use. I think it's 50. It might also be 25. I'm not 100% sure. I don't use it, so I don't really know. Damn it. This is why I hate getting the mist. Hate. God bless it. Got it. Got him. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Miss two spots up at the very tippy top. I do this a lot. Miss spots here and there. Might not make it. I didn't make it. I know what to do, it's fine. Got the platinum mail, so that'll help me with everything. See, all of this is. This area was an accident, if you remember. See, I'm just a dumbass who has to use every keyhole he's around. For some reason. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go and do Orlox's layer, and then I'm going to do the infinite money glitch, and that's it in this episode. That is it. <laughs> I can't keep doing this much. Although, there are going to be future videos where I just play the entire game. Oh, how could I forget the ghost card? How have I not equipped anything yet? I just remembered I got the fairy who heals you when you get boo-boos, and, well, this guy just looks cool, so I'm gonna have him. Actually, the fairy, unless I have the duplicator, I don't actually like her all that much, only because she uses stuff I'm saving. And, like, I can fight with yellow health. So yellow health is sort of like this game's version of, like, you're gonna die soon, dude, knock it off, or change what you're doing, you know, something like that, where I can fight in yellow health sometimes, and be just fine, but if you hit yellow health, she heals you with a potion. Some type, not food, but usually like a potion type healing item. Which is fine, it's a great mechanic, it's just, I might be not need that. You know? Or I'll get hit like right outside the save room for a lot of damage, and she'll use it, and I could go into the save room and heal up. It doesn't, I don't know, man. Alright, well, either, whoops. Mana prism? Mana... yeah. This... Lock potion! Whoopsie. Cool. Do you think 
like about this Castlevania game in particular is, and I know you can do it in Simon's Quest as well, but this one does it the best, is you can go wherever you damn well please. It, it's just nice to not be forced into like one way or another. Like if you get stuck on a part of the game, you can, it's, it's uh, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, this, no! Not again, I will not ditch the holy water for the for that again. Which I reviewed the footage, I edited that one just right before this one, because I think my landlord left. Um, but why was that relevant? Oh yeah, my landlord uh, was making noise upstairs, so I was like, I'll take 10 minutes and I'll edit, and it, it always ends up taking me like 30, because with these especially, I watch every second to make sure I don't screw something up, or make sure it all stays synced, because I'm doing two different types of hardware, as opposed to on X split, where everything's recorded at the same time, and I don't have to sync anything up. So it's, I watch every second of these, and I saw the moment where, I see what happened was, I got hit, and I got knocked back into it. I know that now. Probably been several days since the last one went up. Garnet? Garnet. Okay. Oof. I hate the Valhalla Knights, dude. Like, I hate. It's their movement pattern, it throws me off. Here comes my boy. We just started using the Ghost Familiar. And he's already irrelevant. Sword Familiar. Now here's the thing. For the longest time I didn't use the Sword Familiar. I didn't. But, after playing this game a billion times and learning about the glitches and stuff, almost all of them involve the sword. The big ones, anyway. The sword, the bat, familiar, has always been my favorite. Until I started truly using the sword familiar, then he became my favorite. That, and he's the only one that talks, and he's like a dork. I love it, he's so wholesome. Okay, I got those two little things, it was killing me that those two things, we're going right back where we came from. Damn it. I'm right back in here. I just I needed to get those because every time I look at the map, my eyes are just drawn. And they're drawn to other things too, but things that, like, uh, I can't point, but uh, where I fought the first boss, you get. It might be the bad card in there. Okay, well, I can technically do the infinite money glitch now, but there's a boss here. But I want to kill first. And you need to kill this boss in order to get the spike breaker armor. And you need the spike breaker armor to get into the inverted castle. Because without the spike breaker armor, you can't get one of the two rings needed to talk to Maria to get the holy glasses to wear while fighting Richter. It'll make sense eventually, I swear. This is a cool boss. Broke his table. He is a vampire, and he is a dick bag. Arguably the hardest boss in the first castle. can give you a lot of trouble. If you hit him in the head, he does a lot more damage. Damn it, stop stepping on me. 
and the more damage you do, the faster his this that attack that he just did. Sirloin time! I'm gonna have to quickly turn into... There we go. There's, a, there's one more missed upgrade you can get, and it's from... Like, the hardest boss in the game. Of, well, time attraction, I think. There he goes. Yeah. is finally getting like up there. Zoom. Oh, well, forgot boss screens do that. That is the echo of bat, which when you turn into a bat, you go like this. It's basically echo location, and it helps you in a deep dark dungeon in the very bottom of the map in the catacombs. Um, where it's dark and you can only see when you do that and you're surrounded by spikes and you have to navigate like some sort of like maze oh shit I didn't I didn't get a library card I, didn't get, I have to walk back Almost, oh 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 oh, oh. Uh, what, what can I do for you I'm interested in this <laughs> thank you <laughs> Thank okay, you. I have you. You keep your most expensive thing. Don't sell it. Farewell for now. And now here's what you do. What that? For you. Which I'll show you in a second. I'm and then you go into sell this. gems. And now because of that, whoops, you can pause. And now that you can pause, you can equip what you're about to sell. <laughs> then you sell you. it. But, Sam, isn't it equipped? I'm interested in this. Well, there it is. Except instead of one, you have a lot more than that. And it just keeps going. I already have enough for the duplicator right there, which is the, easily the most expensive item in the game. I have max money now. I'm interested in this. Now here's what we're gonna do first. Is we're gonna go down the bottom, we're gonna buy all these, we're gonna buy the duplicator. We're just gonna buy one of everything. Okay, let's just go back through and make sure that I have at least one of everything. I'm interested in this. I'm pretty sure I do. Okay, now, uh, I don't need to sell him out. I'm interested in Oh, here's this. the enemy list that I'm gonna fill out, and then we're, we'll go through it at the end. Uh, sound test, here's, like, all the, um, this is one of the only Castlevania games, I'm interested uh, in this. that doesn't have vampires. I'm interested in this. Which is saddening. Thank you. Farewell for now. Okay, so. Now I have these things. The duplicator. 
drops a lot of stats. Or no, just luck. And intelligence. Actually, it kind of... Con, intelligence, and luck. It kind of... Hurts. Alright, now, Joseph's Cloak is better in every way. Uh, and that's that. Joseph's Cloak is one of the best. Now, for the Platinum Mail, let's see if it's getting replaced. It is by the Diamond Mail. Look at that. Over on the right, right under my head. Defense. Boom. Stone Mask. Does it get replaced? No, actually. Who would have thought? Uh, we'll, we'll equip that just because it's new. Oh my god, I got so many cool things. Uh, okay, and now the jewel knuckles will definitely be replaced by the firebrand, right? Where is it? Ice brand, firebrand, and thunder brand. Oh shit. Do you want to hit things with fire, thunder, or ice? That's always the, the, well, see, well, <laughs> here's the Harper, which is better than both of those, or all three of those. Uh, and yeah, I think that's it for all the new stuff. Uh, oh, and you can also sort, like that, which I should have been doing this whole time, and then it kind of sorts it from there out, and then if you do it perfect, and you get all of the items in the game, the entire inventory will be full. Oh, this is falling. There we go. So, what I like to do in order to get all of the food things is I equip the meal ticket, I throw on that dupes. Oh, my cape is full on black. I forgot about the Joseph's Cloak. What you can do is change it to whatever you want. We're gonna we're gonna stick with like my channel thing. That's cool. We'll keep that for now. If you want to see any... Ooh, that kind of... Oh, right. Yeah. The duplicator infinitely multiplies use items. And it's your things like, um... Meal tickets, potions, uh, power of sire, the best... One of the best things in the game ever. Um... What else? Anything. Bombs, cannonballs. Well, anyway, here's what I like to do with the meal ticket. I like to find a wall that apparently it, we don't have one in there, but I just go like this. This is how I make sure I have every food item in the game. And I do this for like a minute or two. But if you do it against a wall, it's much better. I know where to go. I have to go down there anyway. That was cool. Now in here is a secret that I'm going to show you, but first I'm going to go like this. <laughs> Harper's a great thingy. Now I do still currently need the duplicator on because... Um, where's Mana Prism? This! See my magic? Uh, next to my health, it goes, you know, the thing, the stuff that goes down, like when I'm doing mist and stuff. If you hit it, and use Mana Prism, it fills it. But also, this jump, th this jump, uses it. And also, I got a health up. But he doesn't just drop health ups. If you do it ten times, I believe, you get... Something else. Uh, I know you... Yeah. Oh, nice! You get the ring, and then you get... You get the ring of Arcania, you get axe armor, and you get Dracula's tunic. Axe Lord armor! Okay, so I just learned something about the game that really would have been nice to know. Uh, you cannot get Dracula's tunic until after you enter the, um, the inverted castle for the first time. 
it just doesn't work. So that's water. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, oh, it's so nice to have range again on a sword. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and save, and then this episode will be over. And then in the next one, like I said, we're gonna start, I'm gonna wrap up all those meaningless little um, chunks in the map, and then we will go from there. So be sure to the next one.